Oh, everybody, Saturday, and it's a little late for you guys, but that's okay, because it's still Saturday for me for a long time, and it is still episode number 24, oh wow, 24 weeks, that's a long time, that is almost, um, we are getting very close to half year, congratulations to you and me, Hal, how are you doing anyway, Hal, are you doing good times for you? I'm Hal, nice to meet you. Yeah. After all this time and you were just meeting me. Holy camoles. Well, let's get right to it, because we already know what's happening. Skip right to the drawings. Battle Drone was done by the Mitch Gould. And it is a very exciting movie. You know, you have these guys. Let's not use red. Let's use blue. I know, I think I seem to use blue a lot, but that's okay. And we're going to use very small brush, because you know what? We're going to try to get this entire movie onto this one screen. Can we do this? Can we do this? No, not if we're on the wrong layer. You fools. We have to be on this correct layer. There we go. So there is a, a team of bad guys, right? They're really bad guys. But they are uh, the, the protagonist in this movie. Let's just draw them here. There's the main guy. His name is Wrecked or something like that. And then you have a bunch of other guys. Here is another guy. Here is the big strong guy who is impervious to damage. Apparently. Well, he looks very damaged in this picture. And then you have a sniper lady who is impossible to miss shots ever at times. She has the long gun here. And she is never miss no matter what. Uh, it's logical. Wow, that's supposed to be the scope. I have some kind of snap going on here. I don't like the snap. Don't snapping. Stop snapping at me. Alright, so you have that. And then you have another lady here, I think, maybe. And then you have a, a questionable guy that you don't know where he's from. And then you have a super short guy who's supposed to be very crazy and weird. You have this huge motley crew, right? And they are just mercenaries. Well, what they do is, for a living, all they do is they'll go out and they kill the people, and guess what, all they do it for is to be getting the money. There you go. All they want is this S with the slashes in it. Why do they want this thing? What good can they do from this thing? But they have it, and they are collected very good because they are making the many action movies, right? And this is one of the movies, you know, where the camera is placed and if anything happens, the characters are, you know, bending around and they're dodging the bullet and then the camera is just whooshing around and here is the lines from the bullet going at him but instead of sticking with orange, we have to say that it missed, the bullet missed because the bullet went around him because of the cameras and then went past him because he is the expert at dodge and then you know, he is having expert gun shoot at the same time, so he is killing all the bad guys with one bullet. It's one of those type of movies. But, you know, this team here is the best team in the world. They are just take out everyone, no big deal, and it's making funny jokes the entire, the entire time. So standard, you know, best peoples in the world mercenaries. You know, just like everybody, right? We're all the same. Let's give them faces. Let's give them at least one eye apiece. I don't know why. <laughs> you get it? I said I don't know why. Oh, it's only you and me, Hal. We can say whatever stupid jokes we want, right? You just got to stop introducing yourself. It's getting tiring. Anyway, so these mercenaries, let's spell that out here. These are the mercs. Not Americans, these are just mercs. M I'm not going to clarify anymore. They are here to just collecting the monies, and they are doing one trip where they want to get all the monies, but guess what's happening in, in this trip? They are being ambushed, of course. But with them are the evil twisted dirty cops. By the way, there are evil twisted dirty cops. Let's put them here. And some of them don't know they're crooked, and some of them do know they're crooked, but there is just crookedness all around. Let's give them hats because they are crooked guys. 
and these crooked guys go on this mission with them. This mission is of course a big setup so that they want to test this robot here. They want to test this robot. Let's draw the robot here. This robot is just, you know, he is basically how, right? How do you have these skills? Worse than Shawshank Redemption. You have skills worse than Shawshank Redemption. I don't quite know what that means. But there is the killer robot here and he's having super duper skills. And he is very, very stabby and shooty because he is having an arm on his arm that's having an, a blade on it. You know, one of his arms is a blade and one of them is having giant gun on it. So, you know, he is a wrecking the shop. He's, he's supposed to be anyway. But according to science, he is losing because now he's an alien apparently with a box for a head. No big deal. I am very tired, you know what? I'm trying to make these episodes shorter, so I don't want to lose your, uh, whatever. I lost my attention. Mmm. This coffee is very good. I like it. I should stop drinking it, because I can't. Oh, there we go. There's a robot here. He's very angry, and he's actually being controlled by somebody playing Xbox over here. There you go, he's sitting some little guys here, playing the Xbox, and he is controlling this, this robot and trying to kill all the mercenaries. So all of these people here, all of them, they are going into this place called Chernobyl. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. But they are going there to fight and having the battle. I guess maybe so that they can have a lot of different abandoned buildings to fight in and blow up, I don't know. But here they are in Chernobyl, and on one side you have the, the evil generals, and they are people trying to make the monies by killings with the robots. They are hiding, you know, no big deal, we're just hiding here. And they are having the communications with people so that they can watch with their eyeballs what's happening here in the, the city. And what's happening here in the city is that the mercenaries kill all the robots. I don't want to spoil it for you, but we all knew this was going to happen. And the robots do not win at all. They don't win any... The only thing they do is they kill some of these guys, which are unnamed and have no real purpose in the movie other than to be killed. That's all they're there. They're like Star Trek characters that wear yellow and are only security, and then they are only being invited along the mission when someone is going to die. That's what these guys are. No, characters to kill off. And now they have the measles. I'm sorry for this, but you have the measles before you die. But of course, there is one here, and she is the... She is actually a cop, but she is actually, uh, you know, in love with this main character guy here who is a bad guy, and that is a very predictable relationship in the movie. But I'm not sounding like this is very good, but this movie had a lot of great action times, and it had people jumping over super duper distances, and it had, uh, you know, shootings all over the place. But it also had the guy standing on top of a building, and he's the main character, of course, and he takes his gun and he shoots and he's shooting a 9mm gun and it is going, you know, 25 miles away. This is how far it is between here. 25 miles. This is the neatest writing I have ever done here. He shoot 25 miles, he's shooting the satellite and blowing it up and that is somehow saved the day at the last minute. Very corny. Very corny action movie. Not as corny as Vice. Vice is going to keep that award. But all of this stuff happened, but the very basic plot of this movie is that the mercs, they fight the robots. That's really it. The mercs, they fight the robots, and for some reason one of these guys is, like, supposed to be a ninja or something? I don't know. Everyone else uses guns, but he wants to be super cool and only use knives, even though he's fighting a robot. Not seem smart at all very peculiar 
But it was very interesting. I give this an A plus for action movie times. I'll give it two pluses. It was very entertaining. A plus pluses. Good job for you. But now let's get to the Hall of Champions, right? Right, because it's not on here. It does not make the podium. And Louis Mandalore, uh, is that how you say it? Mandalore? Louis, good job for you. You made the star of the show for the Battle Drone. That was the main character who shot 25,000 miles with his 9mm weapon and blew up a satellite dish. Wow, those are skills, man. Those are great skills. And he's not making it with this movie because it is just not... It was a great action movie, one-time watch, throw away. That's just how it is. But the actual writing part, you know, the preparation for the movie, the plot, the part, it was not horrible, but it, it certainly was not award-winning in my book. And this is my book, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's my book, all right? How you can write your own book. This is mine. How you... You know what I mean? So, it's not going to make the podium for me today, but that's okay. It was great entertainment, and now, let's go see what happens. Let's we'll skip right to what's happening next week, because I am trying to shorten these episodes, because I know that people are losing attention. I need to speak much faster times, and I need to make sure that everyone does not lose attention, because not everyone can, you know, focus long enough to be paying attention. So, let's get rid of the Hall of Champions. Oh no, goodbye. Remember, though, that uh, Vice is still the corn champion. Good job, Vice. Uh, there's our drawing for this episode. Let's turn that off. Here we are on episode 24. What happened to Monday? Still the champion. Wow. Congrat congratulations for you. What happened to you, Monday? Yeah. What did you think of the movie, How? The Big Short. No, not The Big Short. Battle Drone. What did you think of the Battle Drone movie? The worst movie I've ever seen. Well, of course you didn't like it because it had the drones that were much more powerful than you with your always saying that you are hell guy. Well, what happened to Monday? Battle Drone. What happened to Monday wins every time? So what are we going to watch next week? Battle Drone is gone. Goodbye, Battle Drone. Good try. Great action movie. But you are gone. Next week we are going to watch The African Queen. And we are going back to the 1950s with this movie. Wow. Let's see what an old movie, well, how, how can it do against uh, what happened to Monday? You know, because you are having this super duper action movie with a very interesting plot versus something from the 50s. And I don't know what it is because I haven't seen it. But I know that it is called African Queen. So we will see next week when you join me, Hal. Well, I'll see you there because you'll be there. You have no choice. And I will be here with anyone else who wants to join. Good, goodbye. Till next week, guys. You, how? Oh.